Welcome back, it's still Plots Politics, and we are moving straight to a dual state. The Joint Forces for the Defense of Democracy in a dual state has protested against Governor Godwin Obasaki's alleged attempt to obtain another 20 billion naira loan from the Nigerian capital market. Osawinge Isere, who led the protest, stated that the move was an attempt to mortgage the future of the state. In his reaction, Kruso Osage, the special advisor to, to Governor Basaki on media and communication strategy, said that there was no such thing as a 20 billion naira loan proposal by a do state government. Joining us to discuss this is Kola Edopai, who is a human rights activist, and also Kruso Osage, special advisor to Governor Basaki on media and communication strategy via phone. Let me start with uh, Kola Edopai. Please, uh, I want us to uh, be conscious of time because we have limited time. What exactly do you mean that the governor uh, 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 wants to collect loan, and if the governor is collecting loan, what is wrong with that? My brother, thank you very much. Eh? It is uh, very obvious that things are falling apart in a those states. Can you hear? Go ahead, we can hear you. Am I speaking? Or go is, ahead, is go crucial? ahead, we can hear you. Continue. Is it crucial? Am I speaking? Is it Connor Zokbai that is speaking or crucial? Sage? Kola Edupai, speak on. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It's very obvious that things are falling apart in Edo State and the center. Things are falling apart in Edo State. And the center can no longer hold. We, we woke up a few days ago to discover that the governor of Edo State Mr. Godinopa Seki is mapping a strategy to Nicodemusly borrow 20 billion Naira from stock exchange markets. You know, we are fully aware of series of billions of Naira that have been borrowed with tax through the normal process. We as stakeholders in those states, we had, a, we, we had a meeting. We resolved that there was need or there is need for us to protest, to vet our spleen, that we cannot, we cannot continue to be in the state of economic quagmire when the money that have been borrowed so far cannot be accounted for. Okay. As we speak, Edo State is one of the states with the highest debt profile. Okay. Uh, uh, Kala, Kala, we we need concerned. to be speaking sweetly now because of time. Let me quickly yes. uh, listen to uh, Osage. Kruso, Kruso Osage. No okay. worry. I, I'm the moderator. Kruso, Don't worry. I'm the moderator. No when it is Let's time for you to, to speak, you will speak. Please, can you okay. please be civil? Let's listen to the okay. other person. Mr. Sagi. Okay, oh, no problem. Sir. Mr. Sagi, what do you have to say to this allegation? Yeah, well, um, if you live in Edo State, you will know that uh, Kola Adopai is not a comrade at all. He's under the... Is that the issue, not a comrade? Is, is that the issue? Under the Sorry, can we listen to him? What will react? 20 billion, yeah. what, why you want to borrow yeah. 20 billion era? So, so you, can see, you can see that he's not a comrade. Fellow. When he was talking, I did not interrupt him. He's, he's being sponsored by Osaiki Zayamu, the ATC Zayamu, in the hmm. forthcoming gubernatorial election. Osaiki Zayamu is facing corruption charges. 700 million naira laundered. 700 million naira, okay. In court as we speak. And what Osage did yesterday was to get Kolai Dokpai, give him some money so that he can organize a protest to divert the attention of Edo people 
from uh, from uh, Isaiah Moses. Mr. Sage, Mr. Sage, there was there was Mr. Sage, no, yes, Mr. Sage, so, just the way I was able to interject when Kola was speaking, please permit me to also interject. Excuse me, Mr. Kola, I will allow you respond. Okay. I'm with you, sir. No problem, sir. Just just let's be civil. This uh, millions of people are watching this program, so let's listen to one another so that we can make substantive no problem, comments sir. on what we're saying. We want, we so back to you, Osage, is it true that the issue instead of casting a pattern on my person, Mr. Kola, you will have opportunity yes, to sir. react. Just listen to no me. No problem. No, no problem. No so, problem, Mr. Osage, can we please explain what the issue of loan is all about? Has the governor done it for the poor people? Mr. Kola, please, if you do not listen to me, we may have to end this conversation with you. Please, I'm let's listen to, to one no another. Problem. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Sorry, Mr. Sage, let's sorry, listen sir. to you, please. Yes, um, there is no such thing as a 20 billion naira being borrowed. Like I said, it's all a charade. Uh, it's a sponsored protest. Either Yamu gave them money. A few people in that protest, like uh, Fe Fe uh, Felix Isere and uh, Jessica Mafi, and the Not campaign of Felix of the, Let me correct you. Not Not so, so these are these are just uh, people who were hired uh, to, to yeah. move around town and okay. cause a diversion from Yamu's trial for seven hundred million naira. Uh, okay, Mr. Sage. Mr. Osage, can you please answer my question pointedly? What is the issue with the debt profile of a dual state? And some people feel we do not need this intervention by the state government. There is no intervention such as what the caller and the is talking about. Like okay. I said, it's all a figment of their imagination. Okay. And they are only saying it because they are going to give their money to say Edo State government is not in the state evidence for form. Uh, in, in the past three years, we have cleared all the pension areas pulled by previous governments, including the immediate past government, and that has reduced significantly the debt profile of our state. So, like I said, it was a chariot. There was it was not a real protest. Either Yamu gave them money to create a diversion from his okay. trial for money laundering. Th uh, and let's leave courts to determine that. So let's be careful not to have some form of subsidies about an issue that is before the uh, competent court. But let me go back to Kola. And Kola, please, let's... Thank you very you much. will have opportunity to speak, but listen to me first. When they say you are being alleged to have been sponsored, this is not the first time the governor probably has collected loan to do one or two things in the state, according to you. So why this time? And why are you protesting if you insist that he collected loan? It's unfortunate that we're talking to you via phone. We may not have any document for you to show us, but you can subsequently send it to us for us to stay on this story. But why now? Why it doesn't... A lot of people, especially from the government side, may think this is sponsored. So how do you explain to Nigerians who are watching you that you're not being sponsored? And why this time? It is, no, that, is what, that is what they will say. My brother, you all go to go to Google. Brad, the tech profile of a district. You'll be flabbergasted and be astounded with what you will say. Or what you read. It is very, it is, it is so painful that somebody that is in charge of communication strategy to the state governor has know that he does not have that philosophy of communication. We raise issue of the governor maternal strategy to borrow another 20 billion naira when election is approaching. What we expected from my brother, who called himself a pastor, was to address the issue that the governor does not have that plan. Instead of engaging a logical fallacy. Sorry. Of, Sorry. Of, Can yes, you also the engage the in the issue? Coming, where is the well, fact coming, that coming, the governor... Sir. Where we... Sir. The, the fact. Where we... The, where, where we... The, the Crusoe Osage begin to attack my petition that we were paid. 
where we have been address, where we have been protesting to the election of Commander Dansali Oshomole as the yes, government. Even recently, a few days ago, we protested against the 30 billion era that was borrowed from the state uh, capital market for Bini Water Stone Project during the time of Governor Dansali Oshomole, where Governor Godinamba Seki was the head of economic and strategic team. His company was used to facilitate the slow. He collected some percentage. But what are we talking about? I don't state it's our own state. Let us put politics aside. Let Kuso Osage tell us what the governor has done. Okay. To warrant him to so can you allow him to talk now? Twenty billion era when okay, election Kola, is approaching. Kola, can you allow him talk without in, without interrupting him? He allowed you to explain no, no. your view. Please yes. do us this favor no. by keeping no, by no, keeping I'm, mute I'm, now. I'm, it's okay. okay. No problem, sir. So let me talk to you, uh, Osage. What? Is this? I know it's politics. I know it is time for us to talk about what you've done and what you've not done. So, what exactly is the issue about humongous borrowing and uh, the state's future is being threatened, as alleged, by Kola and uh, no other thing. protesters? My friend, there is no such thing as humongous borrowing. There is no such thing at all. No, I'm talking about the not, debt profile Edo now. State is, Edo State is not undertaking any borrowing. As uh, Kola has gone. Okay, um, no, okay. Uh, the last time when you asked him to to share his source of information with you, he said he, if you go to Google, does that not just tell you how ignorant uh, Kola is? Google no. cannot be the source of such an okay. information. Okay, cannot the debt know, profile to know the, to know the debt profile of any state, where you're supposed to go to the debt management office, not Google, uh, Kola. Kola is a, is a professional protester. He collects money from politicians to do protests. That, that, look that, at that, 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 I think we have to protect, we have to protect so good of him by avoiding frivolous allegations now. Course. Everything he has been saying are lies. And there's no truth in it. It appears uh, what is the, evidence, the daggers are drawn, and both of you are not ready to listen to me. But trust me, Kuso, we Kuso will stay will on this more issue. protest in the days ahead. But I don't say this our state. Kuso was civil. In fact, it was brought from Lagos. He does not understand the dynamics of politics in Edo State before he was made to be in charge of communication and started to the governor. Where he does not understand. See what communication is all about. We expected that he we address the issue, but look at what he's saying. Attacking my own person when I have not even attacked his person. <laughs> what is it? It's not like I think that. both of you are guilty. I think both of you uh, are guilty, but it's okay. But trust me, what we seek to on earth is clearing the air about some of these issues. And the uh, 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 Osage has explained that there is nothing like that. Would expect you to come with some facts, but trust me, since the government no, we'll says, that, excuse we'll, me, we'll, since, we'll, the government, we'll do that, since the government says there is no such plan, so let's hope there will not be such plan in the future. And that should be okay for you, right? No, no problem, sir. Thank you for your time. Uh, that's Kola Edukbae, a human rights activist, and also Kruso yes, Asagi. Thank you for your time. We will continue uh, on this story to be sure that the, the, the people get what they deserve and not some kind of allegations that we need to be sure whether it is true or not. Yeah, and thank you for staying with us, our viewers. We will take Plot's report now, and when we return, I'll be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. The House of Representatives has thrown its weight behind the candidacy of Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iweala for the position of the Director General of the World Trade Organization. This follows the recent endorsement by the federal government for Nigeria's former Minister of Finance and Economic Planning. The motion, which was raised by Honorable Ndudi Elumelu, also called on the federal government to rally other African countries to support Dr. Iweala's bid so that Africa can present a united front. With the COVID-19 pandemic at hand and many countries faced with difficult choices and critical moments, the World Trade Organization has a vital role to play in hunting for trade solutions and building trust amongst member states, hence the need for a capable hand 
that can make the World Trade Organization fit to try for the 21st century. There is no gain saying that we have a capable hand from Nigeria that will provide such headship. But we must urgently reach out to the governments of Egypt and Kenya on the need to rally around a single candidate for the continent in, in, in the person of a candidate that Nigeria has put forward. Having functioned very effectively and efficiently at the World Bank and also as Minister of Finance in Nigeria, one of our best. Mr. Speaker, I would like to urge our colleagues here and indeed other Nigerians around the world to seek support wherever they can get it to give to our daughter to go again and do one of the things she knows how to do best, which is putting Nigeria on the global map and representing us well. Here is my take on the two issues we've discussed. In 2015, President Buhari, who had promised to fight corruption to a standstill in Nigeria, took office and has continued to reiterate the anti-corruption tune since then. Well, it's 2020, and now the person in charge of the EFCC, the agency that was set up to fight corruption-related offenses, is being investigated for the same offense. Is this a true reflection of President's acceptance speech on May 29, 2015, that is for nobody and he's for everybody, or indeed a dent on the fight against corruption, or could it be just a power play? Whatever is the true reflection, the old saga must lead to systems cleansing. And in a dull state, the state is in the news again, and this time, news of protests rocking the state fuel headlines and inspires us to ask a question that very much needs an answer. The question is when, and when will a dull state have peace again? Do we have to wait till elections slated for September 20 to take place? Or will there be fighting, protests, election tribunals, and more? If there was no loan requested by Governor Baseki, why is it that even why is that in even in the news? Like I asked yesterday, why do our leaders use several types of tricks and ploys to discredit each other? Dear people of Edo State, refuse to be the pawns and the games of dangerously ambitious candidates. Your future is in your hands. Do not trade it for selfish interests. Vote for the right individuals. Play your part in restoring the greatness of Nigeria. And that's my take for tonight. Thank you for staying with us. We hope you enjoyed the conversation. Plus, politics returns tomorrow, same time. Until then, have a great evening.